Good morning. Good morning. Um, Bobby's just off to do his first pop of of the week. Two weeks still of um, crossing. Um, I think we finished on the twenty second this year. Um, and it's just it's, it's getting dark out there in the mornings, but we're up. We got my hat on, got my little scarf. We got my leggings on this morning as well because it's a bit cold. So off I go and start a new week. Happy Vlogmas. <laughs> today but I've got coffee day 11 La Cuesta it's from Honduras grown by Pedro Vasco Benitez this one's interesting because it's got hints of cantaloupe melon and 10 years of putting people before profit um, made high altitude Benefits from a luxuriously long ripening period, resulting in a tremendously complex brew. These bright, zippy flavours of cantaloupe melon are truly unique, and this is a fantastic example of coffee made with the washed process. Okay. If you can see these little hairs starting to pop out, it's starting to do something. <laughs> just getting the cups. Just getting the cups, isn't oh, it? Nice. The daily chores, isn't yeah. it? Bertie and his cups. I leave my cups behind, don't they? And yeah. to get some cups. Yeah. Just getting the cups. Yeah. Ready yeah. to watch some Heather. Okay. I just, I did just want to say that um, I read Andrea's um, poetry scene over the weekend. Um, there is an earth after innocence, and I, I thought it was amazing. Like it's so great. Um, <laughs> So, as it says on the cover, it's um, Christian hard rock albums deconstructed and erased. Um, so I'm not sure, like, the extent of... So, like, each poem, for example, would have, um, like, uh, would say, like, an erasure of lyrics from the Disciple album, Oh God Save Us All, An Attack. So I'm not sure, like, if she's kept whole sentences or whether she's just literally pulled words and, like, rearranged the words... Um, but it just seems something really profound about it, like, um, and so smart how she's recontextualized the, the words or the lines of these kind of, you know, very Christian hard rock albums. Um, so you can sort of, you know, for example, she's kind of, she's almost like turned them in on themselves. So they're, she's challenging them through their own words. So for example, like words like empire keep sort of cropping up. And I just love how, you know, that's obviously... You know, I'm guessing lyrically they were talking about like the empire of God or, you know, that that empire in the religious sense. And she's using it almost as a political term and like more as a challenge of the idea of empire. Um, but yeah, so great. And like um, just it, it feels um, it feels sort of quite radical and quite uh, sort of empowered. Um, I love uh, in the acknowledgements um, she's written um, those who lived through the trenches portrayed in these poems with me and out to the other side our rage was something but maybe not magical we do not always have to be repairing I surrender you um, so yeah it's a really sort of I guess you know tackling face on um, the the kind of propaganda or manipulative sort of nature of I guess being raised with this kind of dogma and sort of turning it against itself in a way that feels just great, you know. And the the poetry just really does stand up just as really interestingly composed poetry. Um, 
so yeah, really glad I read it and uh, highly recommend. I don't know if this zine is still available or um, something you can find um, on her kind of link tree or something like that. I'll, I'll try and find out. But um, yeah, it's great. Thank you so much, Andrea. Brilliant. Sir Hugo became aware that something he had said, he could not think what, had apparently disturbed and annoyed this woman before him. He did not like the way she was advancing upon him. He had seen tigresses in the zoo walk just like that. A swift thinker, he took refuge behind a chair and held up a deprecating hand. Okay, yeah, I can certainly taste that sort of faint cantaloupe melon taste. This one is not my favourite. I mean, they're all they're all obviously fine because they just like taste like nice coffee. But yeah, it's got that bit. I find them slightly bitter. These ones with like a bit more fruity. So yeah, they're not my favourite. But I will drink it quite happily. Uh, so yeah, I'm home again now. Um, I'm feeling a little bit like I'm. I don't know if I'm still infected from like last month but I've got a bit of a cold again but I'm fine I um, I finished my uh, PG Woodhouse audiobook whilst out today so that's Dr Sally um, I mean I always enjoy PG Woodhouse this was just you know quite another sort of quite formulaic um, fun romp um, it was about well I did really like the, 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 the main character so Dr Sally was um, uh, a doctor and um, she was also really good at golf, and she was quite feisty, you know, considering when they were written, it sort of, it felt quite, um, like he was, he was definitely, uh, you know, mocking men, having trouble with the fact that she was a female doctor, um, but it, yeah, it was really good, gave it four stars, and uh, yeah, I've got a, um, another audio book on the go at the moment called The Dark Side of the Enlightenment, but here. Um, which I'm, I'm enjoying. I'm, I've, uh, one of my weird, I know, like um, Sage actually asked me to talk about some of my wormholes. Uh, I've got, is the wormhole is that the right word? Rabbit hole. Where's wormhole? Can we do that? Um, that I've done this, gone through this year. And, like, one of them is kind of a weird, kind of interesting uh, medieval true crime, and uh, like a bit of history. You know, medieval history and um, the Enlightenment. Um, so yeah, this was just kind of, it was on the library audiobook app and I, I am finding it really interesting. So, um, but I will talk about some of my other fixations that I've had throughout the year. Um, I've started making a little list of those. Um, uh, but yeah, I need to go out and, um, do the school crossing again in a sec. You know what I can do? I always try to give my dog box with. Peanut are really easy. My kids Watching some cookery videos. channel. It's just nice because we've had it on QVC all year pretty much, haven't we? I've got to go back to work in five minutes. So just quickly, I finished Feminine Macabre Volume 2, which is curated by Amanda R. Woomer and Michelle Ford by Michelle Ballinger. Bellinger. Um, I've mentioned before, it's like the second one I've read and they're like just a collection of different like, articles about women, non-binary folks and um, the supernatural. It says it's a woman's journal of all things strange and super strange and unusual. Um, there's like kind of lots of interesting stuff in it, TBH. Um, there, I mean, I've read a couple of articles now about... Um, 
ghosts about Zora Neale Hurston. Oh, yeah, I you said, yeah. Was there was one in the other one as well. I was completely unaware of um, their history of kind of exploring kind of voodoo and collecting lots of black folklore and writing a couple of books as well about black folklore which looked really good which apparently according to the article weren't taken very seriously because they weren't they were written quite cas um quite conversationally and so they, mm -hmm. they weren't taken seriously as like academic texts so that was interesting oh yeah you've been looking for those books haven't you since yeah yeah, yeah. i read a really good article about we Jim Ouija mania in 1920, a prohibition era panic. Um, there was a, a little a doctor who published an article in 1920 where he said, "Idleness is the sole reason for the existence of this craze. Idle women are the devil's own specialty." When he contrived the Ouija board, he certainly knew his business. Mm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was kind of interesting article as well, you know, but linking it to kind of. Um, women and also like um putting like women being crazy you know putting yeah. them into hysterical yeah yeah so that was that was good so oh, i'm glad i've enjoyed these like i've said before they're like mixed i feel maybe quality writing sometimes because they're not necessarily writers um but they're really interesting information wise so i've got the third one so yeah it's my update. I've got to go back to work. Now. Thanks, Shannon. Closing up for the day. Yeah. 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 It's only four, actually, isn't it? But yeah. I've got um, some work to finish and then yoga. And are you going to watch a film? Oh, so in town I did buy lots of um, £1 DVDs oh. from the sex shop. Yeah. C-E-X. Yeah. Shop. Um, Is it definitely pronounced that? I've sure heard other yeah. people just call it C-E-X. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is it... I would like calling it the sex shop. Yeah, no, is it meant to be that? I don't think so. Oh, I've got no idea. No, C-E-X. Yeah. Or um, Kex. Kex. Mm. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm just gonna settle in. Maybe have a nice warm drink for my throat. Yeah. And yeah, see you tomorrow. Okay. Emoji. Oh, God, I feel like I need to have prepped. Cake. Because you had scone. I had you? a scone, didn't I? Yeah. A scone emoji. Yeah. What's your first oh. scone? I think it's my first scone. Yeah. It was with like oatly, like yeah. creme fraiche. Yeah. But it was really nice. Mm. They're good. Although apparently everyone else had. Scones. I don't think they're going to be watching this, mm. so we can say it. apparently everyone else had scones and shortbread or oh, and okay. fudge. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. But I didn't get any plus. No, I suppose probably because you got the Oatly. Well, no, they got clotted cream. Yeah, but it's only more, more expensive. Yeah, I don't know. I felt like very hard. Maybe done the work. vegan scones were more expensive as well. well. Also, yeah, I can't eat four scones, can I? I'll help you out. Yeah. All right then, cake, Bye. please. Yeah. Bye.